today's a, a perfect day to talk about uh, seed-borne diseases and soil-borne diseases. It's a cloudy day, uh, it's rainy, it's, uh, it sets the stage for, for these particular pests to impact the crop. As you can see behind me, we've got a nice looking crop of wheat and there's some barley on this farm. And what's happening now is this rainy kind of weather is really setting the stage for airborne infection. And we know a lot about leaf diseases and head diseases, but when we harvest the crop that's been infected on the seed, uh, it becomes now a source of, of seaborne disease. Uh, why are we seeing more seaborne diseases in the past? Because traditionally, if we look at why growers are treating their cereal seed, it's mainly for the smuts and bunts. And those diseases are still very important today. But as growers have moved more to continuous cropping, we're seeing a lot more residue in the field from the previous years. And that is really the key source for a lot of the uh, infection that we're seeing today. We're picking up diseases that normally we wouldn't see in the past. Uh, for example, we're seeing a lot more seed-borne fusarium, uh, which causes head blight. And if we harvest that grain, it now becomes a, a source for the next year's crop. Other diseases too, though, that are important, uh, we're seeing a lot more common root rot, like Cochiobulus satavus, and it can affect germination. Uh, we're seeing uh, septoria uh, on both wheat and barley. Uh, in the case of barley, we're seeing a lot more neplotch that's moving from the leaves to the seed. And so this kind of weather, again, really supports uh, that whole infection. And we'll talk a little bit more about what those diseases do when you look at it from a planting perspective. So here's a sample of seed from this past season that was uh, going to be used for planting this year. And this used to be quite atypical, but because of continuous cropping, we're seeing more and more of this where uh, we're getting infection on the seed. And you can look at this sample here, you've got a lot of shriveled kernels. Um, you even can see some pink in here. And based on our diagnostics of this particular seed lot, it's primarily a fusarium, but there's also secondary diseases in there as well. So quite a complex. So if you're gonna plant this, this particular seed lot without protecting it, or providing some kind of a seed treatment on it, your germs will be quite low. And in fact, this seed lot, I believe, was around 70 to 75 percent. Well, of course, when you're looking at planting, uh, you're setting your seeding rate based on germination as one, one criteria for what the seeding rates will be. So as we get ready for next season, if you were to use this seed lot for planting, um, first thing I would do is I would submit it to a seed lab and just to find exactly what all the issues are on that seed. So check for germination, bigger, um, if there's any frost damage or heating in the bin or, some, or any mechanical damage. Uh, the other key component is to see exactly what diseases you have on the seed and how they are also impacting germination. Um, and if it's a seed lot that you can't replace, this is the only thing you've got, uh, then I would look at also treating it as well and getting um, an idea of what the seed treatment will do in terms of improving that germination and vigor. Uh, and so then selecting the right seed treatment for the, the right diseases you have on that seed. So there are solutions to seed-borne diseases um, and seed treatment is one in addition to testing in the lab. Syngenta has been monitoring uh, the pests out there for the last five years and we've now put together a package called Vibrance Quattro uh, which has got a number of different fungicides that work on these particular diseases that will give you the best broad spectrum disease control. When you have that broad spectrum disease control, it gives that seed the best chance uh, to germinate and when you plant it to give it the best vigor. And that, of course, sets the stage for yield.